Hi, I'm Jason Heath from Discover Double Bass, and I want to talk to you about what my French bow hold looks like. And notice I'm not saying bow grip. Grip is not the best word to describe what you do with the bow because it sort of conjures up holding onto something for dear life, which we don't want to do with the bow. I like to set up my bow hold by holding my bow in my left hand here and then taking my right hand and just draping it over the bow. It's almost like if I was getting into a rowboat and I was going to row the oar, I'm rowing my bow, and I just think about how that feeling would be. So for me, I am in the second knuckle here of my hand, and I'm over the stick, I've got my fingers draped over, nothing's splayed out too far, it's not too close in, it's just almost as if I was going to shake someone's hand, I wouldn't shake with the fingers together, I wouldn't shake with the fingers way apart, I just have a nice neutral kind of hand. And this right here is a wonderful way to develop a good bow hold, a well-balanced, weighty bow hold, because I can think about the weight coming from my shoulders and my back, and I'm supporting the bow with my left hand. I love doing this and moving it up and down and kind of thinking about how it would feel as I'm crossing strings. And then I take my thumb and I lightly put it right here, right where I like to put my thumb between the grip and the edge of the frog right there. I just lightly touch it there. It's got a little bit of a curve, just like my fingers do. And that is a really well-balanced bow hold for me. My second finger is touching this metal part right here, the ferrule, just a little bit. My pinky is fairly close to the dot on my bow. Everybody's hand's a little different. Yours may vary a little bit. But notice, I don't have my pinky on top of the bow. My pinky's not sticking out. I'm not drooping back like this. I'm nice and centered, and I feel like I can row my base oar right here with the bow. Now, if I flip it upside down, I can let it sit in the hand like this, and that's also very comfortable. I like to approach the bow hand from both ways, so I can think about if someone was going to hand me something, just open my hand like that. I put the bow in these second knuckles right here, just in the crease, and I just lightly put my thumb there, and after I do that, I hold the bow like this. I point it at the ceiling. I never want to hold the bow like this because that puts weight on the bow hand and we always have the bow supported. It would be supported on the string normally. So after I set my bow hand, either this way or this way, I point it at the ceiling and I practice bowing toward the ceiling, up and down. I'll stir the cauldron. I'll write my name on the ceiling and I'll just generally get comfortable with using the bow. And I think during practice breaks, that's a great time to do that, especially when you're starting out. You just want this to feel like a natural extension of your arm. So make sure that you're really getting this set up well and that it's functioning just like another piece of your arm. Put yourself in front of a mirror and watch how it moves. Always be thinking about the big muscles in your back and your shoulder when you're moving the bow. And if you'd like to learn more about this and other topics about bass fundamentals, I've got a course out on Discover Little Bass about that and the full details are listed below.